My head always been a word of the debate. You are the craziest, most fucked up story from people who have the balls of expressed it. Websites that involve human experiments, hiring a hitman, and even watching people through their own security cameras. It's fucked up, but honestly, I do be lying if I said I wasn't just silently trusted. Now, just to point out, there was no mercy intent behind my expressions of the TV. I was just curious to see if it really was a bad as people said it was. The first thing I stamped upon was a website extremely concentrated around that, which gave me a really uneasy feeling so I don't hang around the web page very long. It was quite a bit to freak me out, so it's safe to say I was a little surprised that I couldn't even stomach the first website I clicked on, but hey, it's not supposed to be all unicorns and rainbows, right? Next, I clicked a website that was dedicated to watching people through security cameras. Most of the screens showed empty living room and parties. Some of them showed oddly filled room like rooms that were picked with stuffed animals. And under there was early ticketed with fucking Christmas lights and fakes in the cloud states. Under screen shows a young woman doing yoga. They were head of views. I didn't watch the one very long. Some things inside me felt ill and just wrong. Like what I was doing was seeking. I shook my head, feel blinking away. Any more curiosity before I hovered my mouse over the tiny X to close the window. Right before I pressed the mouse, I saw a blue link under a black screen that said Process with the ocean. I beat down on my bed, dead yelling internally. To leave the page, don't click the link, it's not worth it, it could be murder, would they make me an acmimpil, what if it was someone skinning an animal or some shit like that, but then again, what if it wasn't, I don't know, what the hell, probably me to move my mouse away from the window. Hovering is over the link intense, but that's where I end up. My curiosity always got the best of me, and no matter how twisted my stomach felt or how strong the feeling of there, so that slightened right over my head. I had to know. I really just had to know what the link link lead to, or I could go crazy until I finally figured it out. So I pressed my mouse down and watched the link turn purple, felt my mind to dry, and watched as the screen slowly loaded. The page was just confirmation of a large screen, like a security camera page. Only it was just one. The room was current, it was dark. There must have been a night vision camera or something because everything had a weird blue green tint. But you could tell there was little to no light. There was a dark liquid on the floor in a middle sized bed. I told myself it was. Coastline. 
Don't ask me why. Movement in the far right of the screen caught my attention, and I immediately picked it my desk chair, including my face, closer to the screen of my left. It looked like an arm, like someone's forearm. They were standing there, not really moving, but subtailing, swaying, just enough to not look completely still. Hey, I said, before shaking my head and slapping my mouth shut. Stupid. Then the person walked. They walked over toward the left of the screen. I felt my stomach nick. Felt my throat tinkle and tighten bell raising in the back of my throat. I knew my mouth was open, gaping, and my eyes were wide. Face screwed up into an expression of pure disgust. It was a young woman. She looked like she could be older than 25 or so long dark and dirty hair was in triangle like she did been pulling at it her leg was dragging her other skinny leg doing most of the work and she limped weakly her head was down looking at the floor and the sound of her dragged her foot across the corner echoed in my silent room. I didn't think it could get any worse. I was so, so fucking wrong. Suddenly, the woman raised her head and it looked like it went on top on her tiny body. I hadn't noticed it before, only able to barely make out her side profile. But now, it was clear as a day. She looked around. Eyes watering with tight trees and black makeup streaming down her face. Small strands of blood streaked were interwinded in her lips, measly, dyed looking them together. Dark blood snared her chain, probably from where she did try disappearedly. To open her mouth scream before realizing she couldn't her tiny fingers were standing as well the same color as the bottle on the container my whole body felt weak my stomach was sick i tried to tell myself it was fake that it was all a big hex my eyes came to the pattern left of the screen, 5,626, 5,623 people were watching, unable to fight it any longer. I ran straight into the bathroom, packing my insides into the toilet bowl. Everything in me felt disgusting, wrong, twisted. Once I was finally done, I laid on the floor of the bedroom, letting the cold tears try to soft my burning body. My head was spinning. I kept repeating myself over and over in my head that I shouldn't have clicked the link. I shouldn't have left. I shouldn't close the fucking windows and told my inner city to go fuck itself. Instead, I was laying on the ground, the bathroom reeking of filming in my mind, a complete mess over there, the hell I was supposed to do. Should I get the link and send it to the police? Should I call them now? My first incident was to copy and paste the link, just in case then called the police and informed them of what was happening. Maybe they could track the IP address or something. Maybe they 
God recognized the girl and nowhere she starts looking maybe fucking damn. If this was all fake just to get fuels, but I wasn't about to gamble nor with what was at stake. I ignored the dizzy feeling folding my head as I jumped up, grabbing the door can and twisting it. I beat too harshly when I flag the door open. My phone buzzed in my pocket, scaring the shit off out of me. I stopped mid panning and picked it up with shaky hands. I saw my girlfriend's name and immediately slide to answer. My force was a complete wreck. My eyes finding the scare while the girl shaking down to the ground. The sound of her cries bouncing around the room, making my body feel recurred. I had nothing left to throw up, but I still felt so sick. Madeline, you are not going to believe what I just fucking saw. What? You, are you okay? Have you been crying? No, I'm okay. I answered. Averting my eyes from the screen, I knew you said to stay away from the DB, but are you kidding me? Her voice went from crying to mad in a spirit, saying, I told you to stay away from their place. You never listen to me. You never fucking do. There's a girl, I said weakly. She dropped in some basement or something. Her mouth is. She her mouth is like snapshot. There's blood all over her face and hands. I didn't know what to do. Mad line. The woman cries, get louder, more dispersed, but muffled. I am so sorry. Close it out. Clear your history and never go back there again. I'm not kidding, but shall I call? No. Her voice was strained now. You don't know if it's bullshit. It's probably staged to get this casting viewers. Apparently, like yourself, people do it all the time that's why i said it to be the best if you just stay away from there you could get yourself into a lot of trouble i didn't say anything wordlessly working over to the desk my hands shook as i raised my mouse to the small legs once more my eyes watched the number of fewer Slowing tick higher and higher before I closed the windows. I felt even worse than before. Okay, we can file a report tomorrow just in case, but for now, go to sleep and stay the fuck away. I can't believe you even went there in the first place. I doesn't have the energy. To ignore with her guilt plagued my whole body drowning me it was all i could feel i told her tonight there i was sorry and that i loved her before i hung up and made my way to the cage to sleep or try to sleep it didn't feel right even begin in my bedroom or begin anywhere near my computer. Now while the girl was still trapped in, unable to scream for help, unable to talk at all, I knew it could be fake, but was there really a risk I was willing to take? I looked up some cockle search over what was fake on the d and read 
multiple stories about stage webcam videos which made me feel a little bit better it doesn't make me sick guilty feeling go away through it's safe to stay dead I I didn't get much sleep every time I close my eyes or even begin to drift off I would see the woman's face that read like into her lips the blood stained her mouth her fingers the floor I continued to grow more and more an excess and uneasy discussing they may be getting out of the house, heading over to the local CVS and picking up some multi might help. I threw my blanket off, set on my shoes, and grabbed my keys and wallet from nightstand. The cold air felt amazing and the wonders to climb to wear link means of the in my hairs. I went to check the time, realizing I do left my phone at home, not a hang deal. The store was only a few minutes away from my house. I ended up buying meal tones and a stronger sleeping pills just in case. Those doesn't help. I also get a pack of boiling water to help rehydrate after I formed it. All the content in my stomach is alarmed by the sun, which latest about 3 seconds before I noticed that my front door was wide open. Now I may have been in a state of shock and panic, but I never ever never leave my front door open or even unlock. My heart immediately began to race. I got out of my car, closing the door quickly and unlocking my trunk. Dropped in the car, but I came in there. Who's there? I yelled into the house, waiting for any noise. Who is in there? My own voice was shocking and weak. I was not with complete silence, keeping the cow up and ready to shark. I walked to the screech and fell for my phone. As soon as I found it, I hit the emergency button and waited until I got a hold of a 9 11 operation letting her know that i think my house was just broken into she told me police would be on their way after checking around the house for anything good i discussed to give my girlfriend a call letting her know what's happened the phone rang rang and then rang some more after getting her voicemail I hang up, knowing she knew probably be asleep this later time. I waited about 20 or so minutes for the police to show up and walked around with them like a scared puppy as they checked every room. They ended up just having me fill out a report telling me they will keep protect cars in the area just in case anyone else carried him. As they were leaving, I checked to see if Medline had called back yet, but there wasn't any missed call. I have ever did notice several outgoing call to her cell phone, outgoing call to Medline 3.12 am, outgoing call time to midline 312 a outgoings to midline 317 a outcalling to midline 320 a 
and then another one at 356 which was around the time I did garden home my mind went into an automatic panic knowing for a fact that I did not make those calls I quickly checked my text reading one I do appreciate send out at 3.23 and hey can't sleep gonna come over mind leaving the back door unlocked so I can get it I didn't send this message my stomach dropped my heart thudded loudly in my chest as I noticed her reply describing underneath so I was sleeping. Thanks for waking me up. Between lose your key again. It's a knock. Don't be too late. Without a second thought, I jumped up, running to lock all the doors and windows in my house, keeping the crowbar tight in my hide. As I ran to my car, I drove as fast as my little Civic would allow all the way to her house, ignoring any stoplights. It only took me three minutes to get there, but I still knew it do be too late. I made my way to her I made my way to her back door, feeling every car in my body burn when I saw it was wide open. My face was hot. My hands were shaking but I stepped in the crowbar, wrist like a bed, ready to snap. I tried to keep my emotion at bay as I looked around her dark house. Meanwhile, I called out her, are you okay, babe? Not silent. Meanwhile, a small scream come from her bedroom just up the stair my legs jerked to a rain as i fell up the stair slamming her door open i looked at her empty bed her empty room confused it i heard the scream again only this time i heard that it was coming through her computer monitor i felt no as i looked at the screen Noticed that the same website I saw earlier. Only insane of one woman I saw two. The first was lying on the floor, not move. He did pebbling to dark liquid. I recognized the second girl just as I had recognized her voice. My heart triggered as I saw her face streaked in blood, the same tragedy with sun in her eyes lights, looking damn sharp. Her scream hit my bone, surround my body, it was all I could hear. Her face was twisted in pure terror. I cried, pathetic, as her voice began to go out, continuing to crawl weaker and rest part. I clawed my jaw, picked up myself and deal 9-11 for the second time only. This time it's barely ring once for the deep, gravely voice of another man answered, you should not have called. Chills shut down. And I heard the phone tip as it hit it. the carpet for my breath hit it in my throat as I panned to pick it up. Hanging up the call and racing down the stairs, how did he do it? He did. He redacted my calls away from the police. I felt my heart race as I dragged it out of her back door in a fence as I sprinted to the closet house.
I pounded the door, screaming at the top of my lungs until the neighbors opened it. Her face tried, confused it, and screamed. She lets me in, and I explained through fainting tears what happened. I'm typing this on my phone to post as we both try to get a hold of a cops, but neither of our calls are going through, and neither is her line. I think someone is missing with our call sir, signal, and they may have cut her line, but we are going to keep it trying. I'm scared for me, I'm scared for my girlfriend, and I'm scared for my neighbor. I don't know what going to happen to me if you don't have for me again. Please take this advice and this experience to her. Stay away from the TV. For fuck's sake, please, please stay away from the deep.